So Microsoft has recently announced the retirement of the DP203 certification also known as Azure Data Engineer Associate. So how does this retirement impacts you in case you are already preparing for the DP203 or maybe you just gained the certification and we will also understand which certification is replacing the DP203 and how can you avail 50% discount on the same. So everything you need to know around this news is coming up in this video. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in case you are working on Azure Data Engineering or you are preparing for a certification on the same, then please watch this video very carefully. Okay, so first let's try to understand what exactly is the news. So Microsoft has officially announced the retirement of the DP203 and this certification will retire on the 31st March 2025. And the reason according to Microsoft behind this retirement is that they want to better align with the evolving landscape of the data engineering and artificial intelligence. And Microsoft wants to ensure that their certifications reflect the most current and the relevant skills needed in the industry. Now I know there must be loads of questions and doubts in your mind. So let's try to take the biggest ones. So first of all, you might be wondering, does the retirement of the DP203 signals the end of the Azure Synapse Analytics? Well, according to the Microsoft, the answer is no. So Microsoft has confirmed that there are no current plans to retire the Azure Synapse Analytics and you can deploy, operate and expand this platform as a service offering. See, while the DP203 focus on the Azure based data engineering services, the DP700 on the other hand, so this is the new certificate that replaces the DP203 and this one actually centers around the unified Microsoft Fabric platform and this shift reflects the Microsoft commitment to integrate the data engineering, analytics and business intelligence into a single solution. And I will share more details on DP700 and how to get the discount on the same later in this video but for now I just want to say that I believe that Microsoft is actually shifting its focus away from the Azure Synapse. And why I'm saying that? Because I have actually not seen any major updates coming in the Azure Synapse. So my recommendation to anyone who is starting fresh with no prior background, I would say it is better to stick to the certifications like DP700. And here comes a very big question. What if you are already studying or preparing for the DP203? See if you are already preparing for the DP203 and you think that you are already deep into your studies and you have already prepared everything for the same and you are in a position that you can do the exam before the 31st March 2025 then I would say please go ahead with the same. But in case you have just started my recommendation would be to shift your focus to the new certification. And here comes an even bigger question. What if you have already earned the Azure Data Engineer Associate Certification, the DP203, what happens now? Well, in this case, your certification will remain on your Microsoft Learn Profile transcript. And in case you are eligible for a certification renewal before the 31st March 2025, then you can renew it. Just remember that renewals will not be possible after that date. Now let's understand will this change impact the Microsoft partners. So Microsoft partners will continue to earn the point or the credit towards the offering requirements as long as this certification remains on their transcript until a year after this certification is retired. And now my friends let's talk about the elephant in the room. What certification replaces DP203? So as I just mentioned, it is DP700, which is also known as implementing data engineering solution using Microsoft Fabric. Now let me give you more details on DP700. So DP700 is a new certification exam from Microsoft for the data engineers. And in case you do not know, it is actually the second Fabric Focus certification. The earliest certification was DP600 on the same topic. So according to Microsoft, this certification, the DP700, this will validate your skills in using Microsoft Fabric. That's the unified AI power platform that brings together the Power BI, Azure Data Factory, Azure Synapse Analytics. And with this certification, you'll be able to prove your expertise in implementing and managing analytics solution, ingesting and transforming data and optimizing those solutions. Now let's very quickly compare DP203 and DP700. So DP203, it focuses on Azure Synapse platform, while on the other hand, the DP700 is exclusively 
focus on the Microsoft Fabric and DP203 covers the services like Azure Data Factory, Azure Synapse, Azure Databricks well, none of this is a part of DP700. And talking about the similarities between the two, see both the exams validate your essential skills on the data engineering and both lead to the valuable certification that enhances your professional profile. Now, let me give you a quick run through of the topics you need to focus in case you are preparing for the DP700. See, first of all, DP700 covers all the things related to the data engineering on Microsoft Fabric, which is actually a lot of ground to cover. So what you can focus is on, firstly, you have to focus on the real-time intelligence, then focus on the permissions and the roles in the Fabric, deployment to the multiple environment, that is the third thing you can focus on, also try to understand the monitoring and the troubleshooting and the data ingestion so there can be multiple subtopics in all the uh, topics that i'm giving you finally you can also focus on uh, data transformation like tsql syntax and also focus on the delta lake and in the description box my friends i've given the detailed list of uh, topics that you can cover and focus on in case you are preparing for the DP700. So this list will give you all the subtopics for the major topics that I just covered. So here is the official website from the Microsoft that will give you all the information on the discount. To get start, it says get certified in the Microsoft Fabric for half the price. And here you can see that this site is saying that you can get 50% discount Microsoft exam vouchers. So here you can see that it is talking about the DP700 exam and what is the process? Well, to be eligible for this discount for a very limited period of time, firstly, you have to join the Fabric community if you have not already done. Secondly, have a Microsoft Learn profile and be able to provide your Microsoft Learn username. And then as a third step, or I would say this is more of a condition, it says that not already be a Microsoft certified Fabric Data Engineer Associate. So, of course, it's very logical. You should not be already certified to get this discount. And further, it gives you more condition. For example, previously passed DP203 or complete all the modules for the Fabric Learning Plan. Or you can also attend one of the Get Certified DP700 live or on-demand learning session. So these are all the conditions or all the different ways using which you can get 50% discount on DP700. And once you are able to fulfill all these conditions, then you have to submit your request form as soon as possible. And one very important date here is that the window for submitting your request that ends on 31st March 2025. So the DP203, it is also retiring on the same date, 31st March. And also the windows for the submission of this request is also 31st of March. And friends, I would strongly recommend you to go through all these frequently asked questions because many a times you have some questions or you are doing some mistake or following the wrong process. In that case, you will not be getting the 50% discount. So before you even start to get the 50% discount process, please go through the facts, very important. So friends, that was a quick video informing you about the retirement of the DP203 and also giving you a quick information on the DP700, the certification that you can do in place of DP203. And also it's gonna be very interesting if someone of you can tell me the difference between the Azure Synapse and Microsoft Fabric. I already gave you the hint in this video. So please think about it. It's a very important concept these days for the data engineering and the focus Microsoft is going for. I really hope you gain some knowledge from this video and this video probably will save you not doing the DP203 in case you are not prepared for the same. And please do not forget to like the video, share this video and also subscribe to the channel. Do not forget to press this bell icon and select this all option to get the timely notifications. And that's all for today. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.